Right, good evening everyone, and I'm saying evening because it is uh, tea time. Now, I've said to you before that I wanted to, I'm going to carry on showing you the miniatures for a while, because I've wanted to make this apothecary forever. <laughs> and it's taken me years to collect everything I need for it. And so I think it's high time I started it at least. I am going to be making it from scratch. I'm going to make as much of it uh, myself, including all the units. Now, this will be one unit, and I've mapped it all out where I want everything to be uh, in this particular unit. And what I've got um, done, are the I'll show you these. This is everything that I'm going to need. They're all cut. And it's all, this unit is going to be an inch wide. But they're all cut ready, numbered. Um, oh, that's the side. That's that side, obviously. That will be the top. That's going to be the bottom of the unit. And then we've got to put the, unit, the shelving in. So uh, 20 will go there. Everything's numbered. Where's 19? That's 19. See, like that. These are going to be little slots where they're going to. I'm going to have some uh, uh, framed things slotted into the slots there. Then there's a big one there for the bigger pieces. These are shelves, and everything's ready for me to go ahead. I mean that's two, so that will be there like that. See, and then this is number one. That will be there like that. So I need to put that together. But before I do that, like I say. I have what I've done is I've cut them, but I may need to trim some down slightly. It just slithers off um, because I've done it out my head and I've gone off that. <laughs> It'll turn out. I know it will. So I'm just going to pop all that together in there. Now within the shot, because there's other units to go in as well. And so I thought, right, well, I'm going to need to um, make some units. So what I've done is I've got one here. Now, let me just see, because that's... It's going to have a table going from the wall. That will go there, like that. I will be putting some wooden panels in, just to spruce it up and get it how I want it. It's going to have a lip on it as well. So that will go under there. And then, where's my piece? That little panel fits in there, sorry, in there, like that, okay? So that's going to be the, um, like the serving desk. So that's that one. There's a lot of work to go into it. I want it grungy, vintage, you know, so I'm going to really go to town on it. Now this is a cupboard that I'm going to put in it. Um, that's obviously going to have a door. And like I said, a lot of these might need cutting down. So that's the double door like that. And then it's going to have a panel on it like that. So that's uh, like a cupboard. So when you open that up, which we will have some of it open, and I'll have some shelving in, which I've still got to fix that. And that's the two sides that go like that. I haven't done top and bottom for anything because I want um, to build them after I've put the unit together. The top and the bottom will be the last thing that goes on. So that's that one. I will go through the process with you. Um, I will... Um, to make it as a kit form so you can take this, my room, and do it completely. Wait till I've done it. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll make you a kit up if you want one. A whole kit to do a whole room. All you have to do is glue it all together, paint it, decorate it, do whatever you're doing. Um, these are triangles. Now, they're just little units that will stand in the shop. And I'll put little beaded trimmings on, top and bottom. Paint it look like wood. And then we'll have something sat on the top. You know, something standing up on the top like that. And I don't want just square boxes. So I've done uh, a, a bigger one as well. So that can stand next to this one. You see? So it'll be like that, like that. And then it'll have a table top on. And I will try and marble the top. Yes, I said marble it. 
I know I don't have to put myself up for some challenges, don't I? But I'm gonna try. And then this is just a normal square tall stand because I do have um some uh oh what do they call them? Like domes, you know, like a glass dome but the plastic. Uh, which I can put a skull in it and that's going to stand on top of there and then they will probably stand around that So again, no top on it yet because the, I'm going to try and get all the tops to match. Well, no, I don't want them all to match actually. No, I don't And um, this one Let's have a look at this one This is a chest of drawers. So that's the back panel. That's the front panel. You Might not be able I don't I don't know. I might make it that you can actually pull a drawer out. I'm not sure. So that'll go like that, obviously. That's that. Sorry about that, that ice cream. I can't have that playing. Um, yeah, so that's going to be um, on there like that. And then that will sit on top of that. And that will be a set of drawers. I may make the big one um, that you can bring it out. I'm not sure yet. Um, and put in probably the top one and have something hanging out of it. We'll see. Um, again, and there's a little unit there, uh, front and back, there's the sides, you know, and two drawers. So that's a smaller unit that will sit at the front. I've separated them all so I don't lose all the pieces. Um, this one is um, like, um, you can have a little box with maps in. So I've got two different size ones. So we've got that, hang on. With the sides, no, in that yeah, that's the back, so that'll have to be glued onto there. Um, then we've got the sides that will go on like that. The front will go on, and then I will be able to put some maps in and things like that. And then I've got a smaller one as well. So they're going to be like wood, made into look like wood. And there's a lot of elements to this, a lot. These I've cut ready because I want to do a couple of crates. Uh, there's lots of things you can do with crates that I won't use them full like that. They'll be cut in half. But I've done enough to do two crates, I think. If not, we can always cut some more. I'm using um, three millimetre chipboard for this. And then this bag is all ready. I've sorted out all the pictures I want. Um, there's uh, various pictures that I want. I might not use them all, but they'll go in the uh, miniature drawers that I have. So I've cut them out ready. Um, like I can have uh, three pictures, say like that. And I could do a spider, a bat and a rat. You know, something like that. So I've got some pictures ready. Again, there's two more of those and one like that. that I, could, I don't know how to put them. I, I'll see what the walls are like when I've done them. <laughs> these are also going to have wooden frames. You know, so I've shown you how to do them yesterday and they're all singular. So I've done plenty to see how many we can fit in this shop. I want it full. I want it so it's like a grotto, but a shop. An old fashioned one. We're going to have some peeling paint and whatnot. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Now, I've got the glue gun on. Um, I think we're going to do the crate first. And I do have some chipboard here that I need to use up. My nifty knife and my cutter, uh, my ruler. I want a base and I don't think the crate needs to be any wider than the actual ruler. I'm trying to keep everything that scale. And hopefully that works. So we'll just make a couple of crates. Doesn't matter if I only use one of them. Um, and I think no more than, where's my pencil? Um, an inch and a half. So I'm going to do a couple. So we need the base to start with. Yeah. So I'm just going to do one, oops, one and a half. One and a half. Scissors. 
So that's the base of my crate or crates. Yeah. Um, and basically, I do need four posts. Now, ah, I've got these. Uh, these that I might. Oh, that's a bit bent in it. Can't use that one. No, don't use things like that if they're bent. That's a bit. But this is straight. Ow, I've got it in my bloody thumb again. Let me get my cutter. Uh, I just need a plain bars and I don't want them any taller than say an inch and a well, no I need an inch no ta not taller than an inch okay don't need it And I need uh, two, four, six, eight for that one. Oof. So I might stop and start and, and speed up for you. Because it's just, it makes it quicker.
Right, that's set. And there you go. I've made myself a little crate for the shop. You know, for the apothecary shop. And I'm going to finish this one and do the same thing. They'll be fine. Two little crates for me apothecary. Or whatever I want to do with them. If I don't want them in there, I don't have to have them, do I? So that's those. So I was thrilled at that. And save all these bits and scraps. <coughs> um, we don't throw anything away. <coughs> so that's that. Now... A little box at the side of it. I'm going to put things in as I make them. Um, we're just going to have to figure out how we're going to make the tops. So I'm going to try and marble them. I think. I don't know. Might tile them. Whatever. Um, so I think what I'm going to attempt to do now is this side, this section. So there's a lot to it. Let's do these next. So these are the little map boxes. So straight away, that's going to be one of those. Not that way. Mm. No, I don't like that. Which way around is it? Map box, map box. Let's have a look. That's that one. And that one is that one. So we need to glue them on. Um, oh, glue. Sorry. So this is going to stand up on there, like that. Okay, and then we've got the little sides. And that's that one. So that's going to go up there like that. Anything that's uh, too big, we can cut off, not fussed. Like I say, I've not measured any of this. Um, nothing at all. <laughs> not really. Make sure that's flat. Pick that up. As long as I'm careful, it'll be fine. Oops. Well, it's not that one. Is it that one? Could be. That one, I think. No. Well, we need a piece. We've just got one. We've just got one to fit. Let me go and get the other chipboard. Right, I am sorry folks, um, I'd made this one yesterday and filmed it, but because the camera shut off and I recharged the battery, when I put the battery back in, I, have, I didn't move this uh, little arm thing that holds the camera, 
so I was out of shot. But I will be doing a little miniature one to go on the desktop. But as you can see, it turned out, you know, okay. It's got all the shelving that I wanted, where the maps are going to be, and certain things in the shop are going to be sat on there. Uh, and I'm happy with that. That's fine. I like that. Um, I also managed to do... Let me just put that one out of the way. That one the other day, with the door that opens. So we may use that. I've got the big cupboard that we can use. The chest of drawers. None of them have got the tops on. Like I said, I'm going to be doing those later. Just got the door handle to put on. So they're done. Let me just put that one away. The uh, two crates that are done. Um, I did this one, which is um, going to have a little top on. That's going to be a little drawer. You know, like a little unit sat on the desk there. Two of these, which are for the... Um, like maps and things like that that are going to be folded in there so people can buy those. It's an apothecary shop, so it can be for anything, to be honest. Let me just cut that. That'll lay flat now. So then we can put a little label on here or whatever. We can hang them on the wall if necessary. I've added the two little compartments in. Obviously, bag of flour. Might not use it, I'm just saying. That's going to be another table top. Uh, like a tall unit. It's going to have like um, a dome with a skull in it. Sat on the top of that. And then at the bottom we can maybe make an arrangement like that in the shop. So they'll all have their own tops on. And they can be used. That's the table. Serving table. And then I found this yesterday. So I'm going to wrap some string around that. And I've got this string for this. I've got the glue gun on. Uh, it was like a cord, quite a thick cord. Like a plaited cord. So I'm going to use this. And we're going to wrap this on here. Um, and what we've got in, these are in stock now. They arrived this morning, so I've put them on the shop straight away. These are the uh, like the ones I use. Now, I have to say they're identical. I've had mine years, and they're still as sharp as what they were the day I bought them. And I do use them a lot besides the white one. So, they're in the shop now. And I bought some new ones. So, I thought, well, I'll buy a box and then we can... Salomon. I don't think I can send them abroad though, folks. I think it's only for the UK because you're not allowed to post anything sharp. But anyway, I'm just going to cut that like that. They're very sharp, actually. And we just add a little bit of glue in there. And that will be fine. Trim all of that off afterwards. So I'm going to do it like that, but I'm also going to do it on the bottom section as well. And then, actually, I think what I'll do is add some strips. Let me just have a look. I liked the strips I made yesterday when I was doing the um, baskets crates so I'm just going to do that now I do have some bits here that I can use
Simple as that. Okay. And that's more or less flat anyway. Yeah, it's not rocking at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, some of this on the bottom section as well. So let's just get this right. Pull that on like that. Keep going round. Keeping it as flat as possible though. And then we're just going to cut that there. That's fine. Keep all them bits in together. I'm just going to do that. Like that. There we go. But yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I could actually go over that one again, but I like it like that. That's fine. I can either have it that way or that way. It doesn't matter. But we shall see when we paint it. So that's done for that. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to do? There's lots of things I need to do. Always remember to clean your knives off. Like I say, I've had mine years, so I know they're really sharp and they last a long time. At the right so I've got the table here now what I want to do is to put a lip across all the way around and for that I'm going to need the uh, not the chipboard the card so I do need to cut some card let me move all that out of the way let's move all that out of the way and again I don't want them any more than a centimetre or something like that a good centimetre. So I'm going to do at least three of those. To go around the unit. <coughs> And this is going to have to go on the top here, like this, all the way around. So I'll start at the back. And I'm using hot glue, though I can use any glue, but I'm choosing to use a hot glue. I'm just going to pull that straight there take any excess off so that's nice and neat there and then work my way around
can sit, that's fine. This one we just pin down. Just do that, that'll be fine. And though it's slightly off there, just snip it, but that's fine. That can be the front. So you've got a little table now. But I am putting um, panels in here. So I'm going to do that next. So we'll take that one away. Uh, and let me get the new board. Which is this one. I just need to cut a strip. And like I say, I'm doing all these strips at... Uh, the width of the ruler and that way everything's kept in line you know for size and whatnot I'm just going to do that again because I need a couple of these sorry this I don't have enough room <laughs> that's done I'm going to do a few extra So here I've got some strips to play around with and like I say they're going to go on like that in panels but I leave it a gap here and I want the same roughly the same gap there so I'm just going to go let me see how much that is that's th say three and a half right okay so we need to do one, two, three and a half. Oh, sorry. One, two, three and a... Did I say three and a half? Oh, God. It's five and a half. Do apologise. Five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. I don't need to do them at the back, just at the front. I'm just going to do one more. Okay, so that's not quite straight, that one. Okay, so here we go. And that's straight. Now, what I've got to do is to make sure that looks smaller, doesn't it, for some reason? Don't know how I managed that. That's the same size, isn't it? Yeah. So I just need two more like that. have a gap in the middle now this is the problem hmm. so I'm going to take that off there in a minute 
That's why I never put a lot of glue on. Just take that off. That's why I like to play with chipboard. You can take it all off and start again. Just rub it like that. And the glue will come off. And then I'm just going to start again. So we're going to do it that side. So that's about right. We're going to have to do a bigger one in the middle here. So just take off the glue. The bits that's glued there. Just scrapes off so you can start again, you see. That's why you can alter it as you go along. And uh, what I'm going to do is put a bigger piece in there. Now, I'm not sure if I brought any with me. Oh, I might have to cut another strip. So let me just see. Let me cut this piece. So I don't want it any wider than that. Add a pencil. There we are. I need to cut that off. So I'm going to do that so it's the same. And then where's that? And I need it to there. I can see that. Okay. See, and then we've got a piece that can just slot in there. I think that'll do, won't it? That's fine, like that. And I'm going to put little borders on because there are going to be pictures on here as well. So that now needs to fit in there. And let's see if we can just, before that dries, just get that right. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to do one here as well. On this end. This one's going to be really grunged up. It's an old table. Or serving desk, whatever you want to call it. that's going to be fine isn't it looks all right doesn't it so i do need to clear my desk off so <laughs> there's stuff everywhere um like i say i'm going to put one on here do you know what i actually wanted like a shelf on there actually i'm gonna just no no that'll do i'm gonna have it like that aren't I? I might just put a shelf on here. Just hang on, bear with me. Let me just see. How wide are those? About the same width. Now, let me just see. I need my knife. I'm going to score this, I think. Just score it like that push that down like that and i'm going to glue that on as my shelf at the bottom here i'm just attaching that like that i will give it a support i'm going to do the same with the other piece as well And just scoring it and then folding that back. It's still quite strong. So we're going to have a shelf on there and a shelf on there. Like that. And I do want to do one on there. So let's just make sure we've marked that off. Um, I'm going to cut some of this off because I don't want it as wide. I'm going to score it. 
like that. Fold that back. Glue that down. Glue that onto there. Like that. So I've got shelving. I just need to put some plinths in here. And to do that, I just take a piece of uh, chipboard, take the small piece, diagonally cut it, do that again. Um, we're going to need to do that again. Easy way to make your plinths. So I've got those, those, those. And those. I'll choose the smaller ones, you see? They can go there like that. And then we need to snip these ends off. So I'm going to snip them off before I glue them in. And that just sits on that end there. Don't worry about anything poking out. We can snip that off. See, like that. Again, we just need to snip that. And that will just fit on there. Just a little bit too big. I'd rather do it that way, actually. And then just fit those supports in. Like I say, don't worry about these, we can cut them off. That's that. Again, we shall just glue the support in and then snip off where we need to. Yep, that'll be fine. Make sure we get them as levelish as we can. Snip that off, hold that down, and that will do. That's it. So that's my little shot. I know it looks a bit grubby. I'm fine with that. Quite happy with it actually. But then I can use that to pop things on, like jars and that. Now I'm going to do another one of those miniature minis. Uh, the uni. See this big one. And I'm just going to make another smaller one to go on the back of the desk. So it really does have to be small. Now I've got all of these chipboard pieces that I want to use so let's have a look I think that's going to be big enough for the back because it is only going to be tiny um oh, we could do it that we'll do it the same width as that actually never mind we'll do it this width we'll use that as the back so then we're going to need a side which I don't want too much um, use that to cut the next side. So I'll glue these on. Don't worry about any edging, we can get rid of all of that. It's a miniature one. Oh, 
like that. Then we're going to need a top on it. That's big enough, that'll do. So you can get that level. So we'll need that, just doing that. And that will just, no, not quite, will it? Yeah, that'll do that. I'm happy with that. So, we get my little mat. that and if that's too big there we just snip that off there we go so that's my little cabinet for the front but I've now got to uh, put compartments in it so I've got lots of these little strips but I think I want mine half inch and because they can't be any wider than that so it's basically cutting one of these in half. Now, just like I did before, you have to cut these to size. Slot them in where you want them to go. See, that just slots in there. I'm going to glue that in place. See, like that? Not quite. That's it. I'm going to do one across here now. Like that, see? That's a, still a little bit long. I'll just do that. So that little cabinet you can sit on there like that and once it's all painted and everything it'll be just fine and we'll get rid of all that before we paint it and be fine see so you can go that way like that on the desk so i can have the baskets on the desk or one on the bas uh, baskets on the desk and the other one on the floor um now, like I say, we can put this on here as well with uh, something on it. I do want to make a smaller one of them, so I'm going to do that next to fit on the desk. So that's another one there. And it was just a triangle I made. So one, two, three. Three pieces. I'm going to cut them all the same. I don't want them too high because you do have things raised on a desk don't you you'll see how it comes together so we just glue one end Like that. See? And you take the other one. And you glue that on to there. 
and then you take this end and you glue that on to there give that a wipe make sure it's even and there you go you've got another little thing to stand on the desk so if I wanted to you know we've got that little cabinet with that crate on the desk like that we've got this one here um, with one of these you know and there's lots and lots of things you can do what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover um, this one I'm just firm on that make sure you can see so I'm just going to change this one but I've got some more of the uh, trims I'll get a different one a little bit thin that's like a ropey one so we'll uh, do that one I think and I just want to be able to use these to cover them not going to go on the very end because it's a bit rough they're just to cover them that's all a great way of dirt you don't have to paint everything this is going to be coloured anyway I'm going to do it like that. And then I'm just going to drop down, and you won't see this, this will be at the back. Like that. We can colour this, paint it, whatever we want to do with it. I'm just going to go round and round. And then only every so often is put a little bit of glue in. You don't need to do it on every turn. I do have some clay pots and that to make. There's a lot of miniatures for this. I do have a lot of the glass vials and things like that that I'm going to be using. Uh, I've been collecting them for quite a while now. We're going to have to use some coloured inks and that to put in some of the jars and bottles and whatnot. I'm just going to do this on the bottom section. And again... Just on those two there. Oh, I've got such bad neck ache. <coughs> so I'm just going to dab some glue on there and bring that in. As long as that can still stand, that's fine. And it's all glued together. So there's another little basket. Something we can put inside. But I also can do a lid on that as well. Now that I don't, I don't want that lid. I want something else. Um. So let me just get some more. So that's that one done. The crates are ready to do. That's ready. So like I said, we've got the table. So imagine this is the room. We're going to have a, that unit there. I've got to make the unit as well, haven't I? You know, the uh, room itself. That can go there. Chester drawers there with a load of gear in, supposedly. We can have this standing here. 
we've got that one that can stand here with some stuff in with that one that can stand there that wants sorting a couple of crates one on the deck one on the floor we actually put that there put this here um, little chest of drawers on the well I was going to put that on the top but I'm not going to now that can actually stand on that top like that um, we've got the this one which we can stand one there one on the floor there we've got that one little tub hope you can see all of this I might put that there and then oh no put that there and then that there it's going to be full it's a you know an apothecary shop so it's got to be full hasn't it of all sorts uh, that little unit on the back uh, there's going to be some more bits and pieces on here but you, can you see what it's going to be like I hope you can see like that it's going to look great isn't it so I'll be back when we start to decorate it <laughs> there's lots of things to go in it yet and I'm going to get those out now to show you what they are sorry first of all I just want to finish this one because I haven't done this one yet and I'm going to wrap this one in a thinner one like that that's fine by me and I'm also going to put some on the other end as well
like that that's fine and then we can color that any color we want so that's another one done and uh, I'll be back shortly